This will be episode 74, cycle 1240 and on. I was really debating about playing Command Land tonight. I was thinking, I need to do both, oxygen included, and Command Land. <laughs> God damn it. Uh, the next large scale like expansion thing coming out on the 8th. It's currently the 6th. Oh, God dang it. <laughs> but I'm feeling the literal crack cocaine that is actually not included. Bothers me to no end. That is just... Congratulations. This and Factorio and Rimworld, all three of these eat away at you. Because it's just so damn good. Just, uh, the pain. I think the worst part is, is knowing that all three of those games are fantastic. All the other games that I'm playing simultaneously here on Twitch and just in my own spare time, they're all good and fantastic. I'm just like, ah, oh, man. I need more me's. I need clones to be able to do everything that I need to do. <laughs> in some way, fashion, or form. Now that make sure we load everything. The planets we haven't visited yet. Oh, we visited them, but we haven't landed on them. Okay. Good. Okay. Who is he? Oh, no. Oh, that's... Also fine. I haven't animated Paku pickup yet. That's perfectly reasonable. No. Hey, what's your food at? You're complaining. Three thousand. You are fine. It's done. And yeah, once we get this all nice and like actually finished off, we'll pop this thing open. Actually, enough water that I don't have to care. My downside is is that I will need to put a pump in. Like so. This one didn't need it because we we already vented it out over here. I didn't have to worry about it, so I didn't need to keep it in. This one we don't really have the space to make a liquid lock to go through. Also, we only really have enough naphtha to build a liquid cooling box and then have a liquid lock to go into it. That's really about it. Maximum values. Go. Build it, please. Come on, dupes. Come on. I believe in you.
Come on, Davis. Dubs. I believe in you. Hurry it up. As you get this done, the easier it is for you to go do other things. <sighs> done only 22 kilograms. Let's take an episode in what, a little bit? Probably an episode quarter to get this done. Sadly, this is heating up again. Because there is no polluted water coming in. <laughs> At least not this time. Most of this will get cleaned up when this thing activates in 7.8 cycles. Oh, principles. Let's see what we get. When is the decorating? 13. Not bad. Problem. Flatulent, unempathetic, and your shabby jet. Uh. Well, sorry, Quinn. Uh, you're off the list. Pinky has allergies. You're also off the list. And Max with a bottomless stomach and nothing really going for him. Awesome seeds it is. Wonderful. Oops, can you guys uh please finish this? <laughs> I beg of the Come on. the dupes go to the bathroom, grab their food, and do their normal thing. Force them to mop the entire thing up here, peel off this little area over here on the left, and then put in a battery. I think I'm putting one over here, but it's like, you know what? It makes more sense. Yeah, for the Da 
settings. Nothing changes between setup. The bigger downside is if I need a storage bin right here, I take all this crap out of here. Now, oh, full ladder. Go to bathroom immediately. Turn. You too. Bathroom now. Run, dupes. Run. Leave this to fray. But case. Also off. Make it dupes. Yes. Good. Only granite, just like coal. Near. Algae, eggshells. Much else actually. And you get food when you're done cleaning this up. I think that'll... Thankfully.
dirt as well. Miss Rock, would you? There is more granite in there. Oops, so close. There we go. Okay, good. that thing. Personally, I'm pretty sure we can now do that. This may go off. Should be okay. I know, I didn't want meat. I think it was a puff dye. Most likely. All the slime lung up here has died off for the most part, but I have some little bits here and there and great CO2 that's kind of still stored away. Bunch up here. Just, just kind of conjugated down here. What's left? Oh no, we had it. It broke. Really? Yeah, I can see it. Somehow decided to break this way. Don't know why it didn't give me a warning, though. Overpressurized. Now the good news is the obsidian just got blasted that way to the left. Weird, but I assume it's going to go over the trick. Oh, need to go in there and remove this stuff. It's going to cause problems for the volcano. Come down here and clean this up, would you? I have to vent this out to the, pretty much to the bottom for the most part. Hmm. 
too much steam. Oh, it will be too much steam, I should say. There it goes. going to go off. Pressurize. What worries me the most? Crossing fingers. Work. Okay, good. Oh, damn. Oh, that's what I was worried. Okay, dupes, get in there. We gotta fix it. Like, actual emergency.
Oops, please move the fluid of honor. Thank you. And that piece of dirt. Really hoping that wouldn't happen. Oh well. should be good. Didn't want to go that way because of the pressure. We will see though. Three, two, one. I really need Proto to come finish this up. Uh, and oops, please bring me the water. Okay, good. There's Proto taking care of that. Okay. Good, 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 good. I was mine this stop. Right smack dab in the middle. Alright, yeah. Get the Paku kind of moved over to this side and then I'll put them in a the box. Uh, 
Right, ye big. Actually, uh... Yeah, we can just... Uh. I guess I can have two primary tanks for Paco top bottom and a breeder tank here. That should pretty much handle most of the food situation. We're already making tons of fried mushrooms while we have to climb. Obviously, we haven't had any time to work on it. Hey, germs are left. Hey, they're all dead. Goodness. Uh, still don't remember what we're going to do with the puffs. I tried to cool down the hot fluid at oxygen event, which is possible. It's just tedious and annoying. Hmm. I don't know. Degree though, oxygen. should just force Proto to do that. That one. Apparently we took damage from in here. For what purpose? Ow. Seriously, how? What is it? Kilogram? That's uh, question mark? The continuous flow. And also, we finally did vent all the CO2. Maybe the back to... No, actually, no, the pipe's not long enough to cause a problem. Huh. Not to mention, this takes, like, 
We've only been streaming for three day, like three cycles, and this won't heat up within that time frame. I am confused. Unless the game just calculated that we took damage. Anyways, what happened to you? Samurath and Kyo are injured. I'm assuming ma map compression happened and they were probably running the rock crusher and got stabbed up here. I didn't get any fleeing warnings, so I just assume that's probably what happened. All these are alive. Yeah, most likely they got hit by the, uh, the old map compression bug. Which would also explain why there's this giant pile of damage. Which... Doesn't mean jack shit and completely breaks the game as per usual. Ah, uh, oni, oni, oni. Ah, uh, why, why? I hate that. That is the worst. Congratulations! No warnings. No building's broken. Other than the pneumatic doors that we don't care about. And it's just congratulations! Oh, your pipes just broke. When... Systematically, they shouldn't be able to. See? Not capable of hitting the temperatures required. Even if it was sitting in the pipe, which I've had it sitting in the pipe before for cycles. And the temperature was actually higher. I have no idea what happened. Oh, I have an idea, but it's just... Congratulations! It's the old map compression bug! Kicking me in the ass again. Oh, you didn't look back at main base for over a cycle because you were working on micromanaging a bunch of other stuff? Oh, too bad! I'm just gonna wreck something because, well... Physics don't break down when they're not loaded. Game. What the actual hell? Again? Why? That back again. Rams, you're good. Building. Good news is, is we can technically get back in there. Bad news is, is it's going to vent so much stuff. But, being I fixed the other problem, reinstall my original gas vent. Looks like it's been pretty effective at eradicating the CO2. We're at 20 and now we're down to 9 up here. Good job, guys. Bad news is, is I have to come back in here and fix all of this. I have a lot of really hot gases coming through. Good news, everything's made of steel. I'm gonna get rid of that ethanol, but I'll figure out a way. Release the CO2! Dupes.
We're just venting tons and tons and tons of CO2 into this room. Not great. Really, really not great, but we'll have to do for now. come and repair this, so I'll make do with what we got. Oops, please come repair this. this, clean this up, and that back. Please get down here and repair this. Right behind it instead? Is the Never mind, wrong thing. I think everything else took damage, I assumed it was the distillery. Oh, I kind of love map for impression. So I hate it. <laughs> yeah, I know, it's the necessary evil of Unity Engine, but come on. Stop exploding. The good news is, is fixtures are extremely adept at cleaning up most. Bad news, my mini liquid pump is totally gonna melt. Is there any place I could just put this? I saw that, Sandra. Don't you dare think about it. Come on, guys, build it, please. Thank you. Okay, good. 
good. No, that one. Material, turn it on. There we go. We'll be able to clean up the rest of the system. Leave the crude oil in there for now. Not gonna do anything. Handling the other volcano. Ah, Righto, get over here and help me with this, please. Also, uh, no, I have enough obsidian. Let's check our principles real quick. Hey, a snazzy suit. Joshua, one, two, and one. Or May, nope. All hands, Ludite. Not great, Rowan. You're only a one, three, one. And then Quinn, once again, coming in with the meh abilities. <laughs> uh, poor Quinn. I've yet to see a good Quinn. I keep trying to get pay and it's just like, nope. Uh, every time we try, it's just... No good dupes. No good dupes. Do I see someone without a snazzy suit. Nazi suit. Uh, give it to Shiro here. Yo, yeah, have a new suit. Aha! Core values are even higher. Great success. Righto, what are we looking at? Bathroom 62. Okay, you're good. You should be able to get it to about halfway. And yes, you can totally leave gold volcanoes in the open. It's... Yeah. <laughs> it's not actually that bad for the time being. For researching purposes, anyway. You will want to seal it in, but... To start with, it's not the worst thing in the universe. You decide to ignore it a little bit. Well, I think we can start focusing on filling the rocket tonight. We need to do that and also get everything prepped for the next launch. I do want to make my way over here soon. I have a lot more work to do and this planet must be completely capped. Uh, this cobalt volcano, this gold volcano. I need a full cooling box here. And I need to set up rocket launch pods here. Probably move the rocket platform. We'll probably move the uh, exit point, but we'll do that later. Main goal right now is to just get. Well, the main goal for this was just to get everything working. And I should probably build all the rocket platforms over here. Exit point. Kind of the exit point here, but I need to add solar panels here, and I need to build a particle accelerator here. Yeah, I need particle accelerator here for firing off gold and cobalt. Yeah, definitely. I'll have to move. I'll have to start sending over nuclear waste once we get the nuclear power plant online. We're very close. Which is a good, which is very good news. But we're very close to a nuclear reactor. I was thinking it was going to be like four episodes from episode uh, 70, 71, like 70 and 71. That's where I was like, eh, it might be 70, episode 74, 75. Today is 74, so we might be able to do it. Oh, it's right at the precipice of being able to build this. Thing. If I add any heat, though, it will destroy it, so. <laughs> and I think I've... 251 in here! Yay! The door can finally be repaired! Uh, over here, 275 though. <laughs> 280! All these other ones. 
until this gets like 2.30, I really don't feel comfortable putting steel in there. Because, I mean, we're going to be running hot machinery. Dude. <laughs> There's a high likelihood it will melt down. It will literally melt down if I end up using nuclear. As the volcano's going off and Proto's just like, I'm just standing in it, no biggie. Means nothing to me. I approve of his tenacity. I'm a little concerned. I approve of his tenacity. <laughs> Goddamn. Righto, I would think the lava would be the problem, but then I know that it's fall it's spawning in liquid, so it's not even a problem there. Like, oh yeah, it's 171 degrees. Doesn't even impact the suit. <laughs> His problem. I need to go to the bathroom. <laughs> like, you're standing in liquid gold. <laughs> like, I don't care if the bathroom. More important. Where the troops are. Oh, because. Okay, do. Uh, please deliver that. But oh, you're in the toilet, correct? Move this clay out. Um. Ceramic, awesome. Map anyway. Okay, good. There's the suits coming in. Why is it Freycor's duty to do this? Should be Spoons. Spoons my builder. <laughs> and I'm fine with Freycor getting more training, but it's like... This construction's only at 10. I'm pretty sure Spoon was at... yeah, 14. That's with the skilly. He just wants to build it. Well, it works for me. Hasn't gotten hot enough yet. Pressure is forty four kilograms. Reasonable. Or to be less than that. Hmm. I could vent it. That is an option. Not oh, yet. Yeah. Let's vent this a little bit. Check back in on the other systems. 
Stay too hot for that. What's the power doing? Just that big fun. Okay, that's all fine. Um, pressure's good. So that way we just move the obsidian. Eleven and falling. Good. Is it next to it? Come on, bud. Just make it. There you go. Not that much of a builder, but it'll do. Okay. This should be able to get taken care of there. Oh, he's almost got it. Come on, bud. I believe in you. Come on, dupe. Come on, proto. Come on. <laughs>
He's so close. Go. Go. Literally a slip. Thank you, dude. Okay. Period 25.5 over 47.6, kilograms. That's a lot more active for a volcano. It's a really good thing to be honest. Hopefully that could just convert everything into steam and then I could just vent the uh, fluid and oxygen and all get compressed in the room. Obviously this is kind of a problem because we've got a little blob here as well. Kilograms. Ugh. All because it overpressurized and broke that one tile. God dang it. It's all of that. I think everything else is working. Ugh. Frustrating. What's Bing Bee's doing? And it's still taking damage. Good thing we're, ba we're pretty much making almost infinite plastic. Uh, bad news, we're totally wasting. At least while the sexers are slowly eating through all the excess. And the rest is just being vented into space. A 
much built up energy. Good thing, it's just a lot of built up energy in, here, in this little CO2 room. That's why it's hot. Very hot. How's me telling doing? Well, they got everything installed, so that's Obviously, the big downside to this is, is that I have a plain power grid. <laughs> will probably be this. There. Oh, that should be fine. Should hopefully be safe. out, replace this crude oil, and the last one with crude oil, or petroleum, either one, preferably petroleum, just in case, I need to make some stuff, wait and see. More worried about that. Uh, that's the problem. <laughs> I was like, how much dirt are we going to accidentally create slash sand? Yup. 200 grams. Well, the good news is, is this technically isn't hot enough to treat the glass? Or is it? Actually, no, it is actually hot enough. Um, downside, I don't think we'll transfer enough energy to do it. Hmm. Oh, the temperature's falling, so that's good. Was that 117? We're doing a pretty good job of eradicating most of the problems. 
it's all been repaired. Having polluted water leaking in because of the temperature is actually... <laughs> By steaming this off, we're actually making it the room too cold. Just slightly. Just enough to cause a problem with the polluted water. Way too much steam in this room. I'm thinking we might repurpose this steam turbine and send the water off. Could they be repurposing it and sending it this way? Definitely need to regulate how much gas is in this room. In theory, I could also add a regulator down here and just send the excess water into the water system. This is all fully regulated and gets sent on up to space. Completely automated now. to think of something. Edvark. Welcome back, by the way. And yeah, oxygen included is really good. Apparently just trying to figure out how I'm going to displace the excess steam that's getting produced due to technically desalinating saltwater geyser inside my steam room. Probably down here when, once we clean up the rest of this. The core is slowly getting within temperature ranges that I can actually say are feasible, usable. We're still not there yet. We'll get it eventually. Very soon, that's for sure. I need to shove the water back in. <laughs> Don't overpressurize, I'm just afraid this might turn into glass. Oh, of course. We just played it earlier. That's what we introed today with. I was debating between doing episode 47, which, or sorry, not 47, 74, which is what we're doing right now, or doing a uh, second round of Khmer Land, but I'm like, I need to get more progress, and I need to get this volcano properly tamed and sealed off, and I need to get this one as well. Uh, we're two days away from Dululu on uh, Bubble, though. My blush puff is uh, at 269 in her refinement points. Soon, I will make that pink little tiny monster into something that actually doesn't look like crap. <laughs> Very soon. Uh...
Okay, that one's all good. We did have an overpressurization break on this tile right here. So I had to dig this out, revent everything, and then get it all back to normal. So that one's all... This one's pretty much done. I could probably just isolate it completely, and I think we'd be good. This is the one that we just got started working on, and I'm just slowly sort of filtering out everything that's in here. Yeah, I might want to just vent water back into this room. Hmm. I feel like I need to make a water lock and then come in from this side is what it feels like. Uh, yeah, it's probably a good idea. I keep, I keep looking at it going like, I should probably do this. I mean, it's just a gold volcano, I just need to clean it out. Max priority. I should actually get the water to flow this way. Probably need to mop right here. Front. One more. There we go. That should stop overflow. And... Oh, new printables. What do we get? Glass. I'm okay with that. Uh, we have a Nicola, who is a Yoko. Damn it. <laughs> uh, Harold, you're not bad. You just have tidying, which doesn't do anything for me right at this point. Glass, pretty incentivizing. Bubbles is actually looking really good. The downside is their interests are just not that great. Digging, supplying, research. That was suit wearing. Definitely would be on the cards, especially seeing they're a narcolip. Narcolips are fantastic. Yeah, if she had, a, if she, instead of supplying, she had suit wearing, I would have taken Bubbles here. Actually, kind of sad. I could have technically turned her into a uh, plant research. I would have been okay. Uh, I'm going to call the glass, though, over here on Propellant. We're going to need it later, just not right now. Oh, where's the printer? Like, trust me, I want to get more dupes in. I have people's names to be putting into the game, but it's just like, I need good dupes. <laughs> the problem is, is uh, we're not getting them. I keep getting, like, Tier 1 interest dog's bodies, and I'm just like, where is my actual specialized duplicates? Game! Not really game, but printing pod! Come on! <laughs> Give me something of worth. Uh... Not over there. You can check this one so we stop leaking water that way. Construction. Next priority. Go. We're just going to use the excess steam that's in here and dump it into this room. We're going to get a little damage in the process. That should be fine. It should result in roughly about... 140 kilograms per tile to 120. Roughly. Basically when it's all done. Yeah, it's not getting hot enough. I was kind of hoping that the sand would turn into uh, glass, but you can see the uh, temperature transfer. The sand's going from like what, 
400 to no, 1,000 and then right back down to 600. Yep, there it goes. It's mostly the excess dirt just converting inside the uh, conveyor. <laughs> Back on. We'll do a quick duty and repair it. A little more. Once we get enough steam in here to form the water lock, then I don't really have to care about it. But then I just swap this up to that. I just have to wait for this to pump enough water, well, pump enough steam into this room. All I have to do is form a tile right here. Oh. Just had a bit of a hiccup. Oh no, it is. Come on, OBS. Good. There you go. Which is having a bit of an issy fit. Mostly it's probably on Amazon's end. Or actually, no. Mondays is Twitch's updates. Wednesdays slash Thursdays is Amazon updates. That's when problems occur. Oops, can you guys uh, undo this? Did I this situation? All running just fine. It's main base. Let's check on it. I don't want another random come back and see all my pipes damaged. That just happened, and I was like, okay, I've let this thing run before, and let it back up before, and it took it 12 cycles before I saw it even close to where the ethanol would be having an actual issue. At least in the pipes, anyway. Oh. No. I don't know. Yep, very good. Oh, thing. oh. hold up. And the ethanol self-deleted again. What? <laughs> I'm gonna guess it got crushed. <laughs> I have no idea what's happening in this little quarter. <laughs> it's like, oh yeah, we had about like 50, ki we had about 50 gram, or yeah, 50, gr uh, like 480 grams worth of ethanol. Poof, gone. Like, I'm going to assume it just self-deleted while I wasn't looking at the planet. What? <laughs> I mean, it was one tile. So I get, that's my best guess. Uh, I'm finding a lot of weird things happening from time to time, and I'm just kind of like, okay then. Sure. I parry that. Go. 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 I have no idea what's going on with some of these things. Applying the laws of the physics of the game to some extent and just making it very strange. Like that. There we go. Nope. Come on. Hey, man. Hey. should hopefully cool down enough to where it will stabilize as a liquid one. If that occurs, then we're good.
good. No, no, no. Stop it. Randomly flowing. <laughs> there we go. Nope, nope, it did it again. Should just be staying right there, but it's not. Okay, good. You just make your way in. You work to do. Just remove the excess materials. some dirt left in there. As long as it doesn't get picked up, we should be fine. We still need to vent all of the excess polluted oxygen in here, but I think we'll be good. Not to mention, I can always just add more water into the system and... I should hyper pressurize the rest of this out into the corner. Don't need to attach this to an actual cooling loop. It is all set up. And uh, how much of this gold? Quite a bit. This volcano, we're going to build the wall and then build the actual cooling unit over here on the right. Uh, same vein as this. We're going to figure out how we're going to pull that thing down completely, though. Probably the same exact setup. I'll just be happy when we're getting all the material and I can kick the temperatures down to a, a eh, hopefully. Uh, really just kind of grasp against us, maybe like 20 degrees? Question mark? Rest of the I hope, anyway.
Hmm. Need to get more water in there. We need like 40 kilograms worth of steam. So. I'm hoping that just warms up enough that when this thing goes off constantly that we don't have to worry about it. Roman season 15. This is a very active gold volcano. Every 47 cycles. My other one's every 135. Um, that'll be pretty good. It's less total, like... It's a less per second, I believe. Actually, no. No, it's just a hell of a lot more active. <laughs> 25.5 cycles every 47. Or 44 seconds. Versus the 49 seconds. This pumps out 9.5 kilograms per second. That's pretty good. That's a BV boy. <laughs> That's a lot of gold. Uh, I look good. I'm not gonna lie. I'm looking really good. At least in principle. Oh, it's so close. Also, Sam, if you got stabbed again. Uh, at least give me a warning when you guys get beamed by the crabs. Because I know it's you guys. I know it's you. We're thinking 0 0.3 cycles. Then my entire base goes from this nice little yellow to completely blue. Which is actually really nice. Most part. 800 I can't get rid of it fast enough. I'm like super burning it off and I still can't beat it. Even with my clay processor, I still don't think we're making enough. I'm making plenty of sand now. That's good. I keep sending sand. How's the temperature on the nuclear waste? Oh, it's up to 16.4. Yes. Go higher. Yes, it hit uh, 29.6, I think it was. Uh, 29.9. Yeah, we have to get 29.9, and then I'll get another 5 tons. There's 5,000 kilograms of nuclear waste in there. So that, that should push the radiation output to maybe 700 rads per cycle on these. Uh, that'll be nice. Food's still going up, oh, that's what matters. Definitely not producing slime at the moment, I'm just consuming the map's total amount of it. Like, how much slime do we have on this planet right now? I forgot to look. I'm just trying to get rid of it. 32.3 tons. 32,000. Um... Four kilograms per ton per cycle. It's a while. Still, that's a long ways. Uh, I 
They still have more to clean up. It's kind of everywhere. Oh, jeez. And hit 400 degrees. Only because there's very little steam actually in the room. And therein lies the problem. I need alignment, water sieve. Emergency, so come on, dupes. That. something like this. Auto, we disable auto repairs because we're going to get absolutely destroyed. There's so little steam in here, the heat transfer is instantaneous so it doesn't care. Okay, dupes. Get to move on. I'll be going in here to repair everything shortly once I get enough actual materials in the room. Come on, dudes. I've heard that. Dumps good. You only want regular water in there. To be honest, I could probably just vent the actual materials out. Probably be safer. Always hoping I would have a little bit more time before it would erupt like that. Or that it would actually cause this to co actually cook off properly, but it just didn't. Problem.
Come on, dupes. Get the cables built. Gotta get in there. While we wait for them to finish that up. I really should send over more water. I don't have enough dupes to produce enough water, to be honest. For recycling purposes, anyway. Drench the plastic in uh, polluted water and let it run. It'll cool it down a little bit. Water's coming out around like 65, then going on up. Leave that alone once we get the temperatures down. 92.8. should be sending more sand over. Really the only two things that are like a major issue for the bases that I have right now is dirt and sand. Sand thankfully now that we can actually start producing it regularly is uh, pretty easy to mass do. Uh, the biggest problem obviously is reducing the amount of gas inside the steam room. Okay. I could probably put a pump in here. The downside is, is I don't really have anywhere to put it. Like, put the gas. Um, I'm converting a lot of it down already. I need to be able to convert the excess materials in here down. My only guess, I think, would possibly be adding some pumps, kicking it out of the base. Like, I can just send it straight through the whole system and just eject it into space. That is an option. Downside, obviously, is that we're at 700 kilograms. I would prefer to keep the amount of temperature in here roughly around, or well, the amount of pressure in here roughly around 100, which can't really be done with a uh, atmosphere sensor. This only goes up to 20, th like 20 kilograms, and I want 100. So the only other option would be. And gate with cycle sensor and I 
Let me make this a little bit more optimized. I could use both a temperature sensor and a cycle sensor. An event based on cycles. Probably figure out the rest. Currently injecting about 600 to 150 grams gram each per pack. Almost a kilogram per pack. Only four killers. Good. Right. Good. Let's just use the nap that I have. I want to save it for the actual cooling loop. Uh, I can eventually just re move it and scoot it around, but for it. <laughs> Let's just use it for this now. Don't have to worry about it too much. Six one. Should be fine. Save. Yep. Now, time to dump the extremely hot nap then. Oops. Come on. Just sitting here waiting. Oxygen's good. I know we have nap. Get right here. Like one of you reach it or something? Or what's going on? Oh no, no, they can. Being slow. That's fine. Ooh, copper ore. We need that over at the one base. A son with a suit wearing 11. Handy, innately stylish, but a bottomless stomach. I really need a suit wearer with 11 in hand. Handy's good. Innately stylish is really nice. Bottomless stomach, though, is a little bit cute. Not the worst thing in the world. Obviously, it's actually a pretty reasonable thing. Not early game. Late game, yes. Hmm. There's a Quinn with a crit of ranching, but without any interest in ranching. <sighs> what a Quinn or Pay? Probably Pay. That actually looks pretty good. He's fully specialized in athletics. He's a sparkle streaker, too. 
He's tempting, but I really need the copper ore right now. And I don't really know where I'd put him. He wouldn't fit here, because the food bracket's too small. Your talon is already kind of at capacity with four. And they, I need a rancher more than anything, so a suit wearer is just kind of there. Tripola, I don't think... I don't think we're ready to take a dupe here yet. I don't have any gems set up to actually increase their ability to do stuff. I need the copper now, so... I'm gonna take that. The song could have been useful for, like, a standard dupe if it had been Earth. I think. Not so much right now. It's a bit of a shame, to be honest. Construct these. Reconstructed. That way we save on steel because repairing it is a waste of time. They're up deconstructing it. Rebuilding it. Settings. Come build this, please. It was, I thought they accidentally deleted the thing, so I had to make sure. Well, that was not the case. City. So bad for the mini gas pump, there's nothing you can do about it. There we go. can probably open this up, and this may cause this to explode this way. 
a high likely item. I want to see if this works. Also, oh, so, uh, I need to do that so we can move this. There's nothing I can do about that. Hmm. Question, even though this is at 30 kilograms, still not enough. I'm gonna wait until it erupts again. This one's pretty much completely self-sustaining. Once we get this one fully sealed in properly and all of the polluted oxygen removed so that way it can vent it and cool down, we'll be good after that. slow process. Oh, it was nine. Three. What? And now we got two cold now. God dang it, buddy buds. too cold from here and up here at the same time. Good. Mop that up, it should stabilize the temperature a little bit better. As long as I'm sending hot gold over it should be okay. sand, I think. The rocket, we're back in yellow. Redirect that so that we can keep sending over sand to deal with the uh, ever-required need of standard actual water. Is it a polluted water? <laughs> uh, 
straight up. Is down to 700 and falling. So much steam that it shouldn't be that big of a deal for it to contest itself. It's still fine. It's balanced. It should be. Hooray! All the poke shells are no longer angry with me. Angry in general. These temperatures are now completely green. Yeah, setting this up to as gold definitely solves the problem. Base is now stabilized. And still not completely stabilized, but it's getting. Goes the chill. Here it comes. <laughs> oh, it's yellow. It's all gonna turn blue. Uh, never underestimate the power of a cool salt slash geyser. They are very. Very good at their job. Seven, eight. Yeah, my best guess that ethanol got crushed and self deleted itself. I'm happy we're bringing all the salt down to the crusher, though. Good stuff. Temperature is 249, It's right on the precipice. It's 275 for machinery. A nuclear reactor, though, cannot be put in here at 272. I have to do it lower when I kick it on. It could accidentally spike into 600 and then it would melt down. And that would be bad. That would be really, really, really bad. But yeah, I don't want to do that. I don't feel like well, cleaning up Corium again. <laughs> I've done a bunch of testing with nuclear reactors and it's like, what's the threshold in this? Explodes. What's the threshold in this? Doesn't produce any power. What's the threshold in this? Explodes again. It's just a blab left. Looking at steam wise. About five kilograms with a couple hundred down in there at the bottom. Most of that's getting pushed into the corner. Good, good. On you, erupt. I want to see this. There it goes. All the steam is reconverted back. It should cause a steam eruption. Hopefully. Come on. There it goes. Keep dropping in. More chunks, please. The more you produce, the more steam we get. I 
got us. 300 can meh. Not the worst thing I've seen. Gotta vent this out. Slime lung everywhere. Ugh. Yuck. If only I had chlorine, I could just wipe it. <laughs> if I had any level of, ga of gaseous chlorine, I could probably purge all of the slime lung in what, maybe like seven cycles? It does not take long when if you have a chlorine box. Because you can just send all the uh, polluted oxygen through it and just it'll kill everything. <laughs> Just put it in a tank, and then vent the tank back into the room. Everything will die. <laughs> really effective. Radiation also does really well. As long as it's not dealing with a liquid, of course. Oh, for radiation's purposes. For chlorine's purposes, it doesn't care. Like, oh, it's a gaseous form, or a liquid in a tank? Oh, yeah, just eat us, delete us, goodbye germ. The thing is great. More iron here. Inject some energy into the room. I'll have to figure out some way to deal with the excess pressures. Process it. She's getting iron. It is wiping out all the polluted water. That's a plus.
Cool enough that if that's enough energy production to be able to offset all of the cooling. Might actually need to do this. I'm looking at it. We get quite a bit of wastewater coming down in the bottom. There's not enough cooling to offset it. Good news is, is I already have everything connected. I'll probably have to move this line down to use it. Probably have to do that. I know it's hot, dude. Come on. Cycle that. Cycle that. It'll be a small power cost, but that's perfectly fine with me. I know. There's no to do that one. Is currently having a sort of problem. Oh, is it? First man of the errand. Yep. Water is a 50. Why are you giving me the toilet warning? Okay. A little confused, but okay. Oops. Please build this. I said it to nine, thinking that they would still do it. Uh, thing is staring at it like, oops. Do the thing. <laughs> what are you doing? Uh, I really worry about my duplicates from time to time. They definitely do not help with my sanity <laughs> when dealing with them. Here. Clean that up. A lot of that ripped up here. Oh, you know. Not the buddy buds. Okay, good. Clean that up, dupes. Yeah. 
Come on. Come on. So blow it. Now, where am I going to put question? Thinking like right here, to be honest. Should be above the kind of janky setup that we've got going. I want to make it... We'll be importing both the cobalt, gold, gold, and the other cobalt into this box. This box will be made out of metal tiles and water. It needs to be insulated. Uh, sediment rock, that's fine. A lot of different chambers, four tiles. I should probably make it even bigger. Um, and a derivative board. There. Exactly enough size. Too big. Ugh. I'm getting involved with that. So I'm kind of like, I want to put it down here. I can't demolish those because I don't have a team that can do it. I could probably bring a dupe to do it instead. Principles pretty simplistic. All of the cooling occurs within the gold tiles. This entire thing is just a large heating box. The bigger issue is, is that I technically need to do probably two setups. I need to deb I'm debating about using this to bring the temperature down to 124 effectively. And then chilling it over here. Or over here. 
because most of this stuff's going to probably be coming out at like a hundred and maybe 150 to 260. So I need to really kick the temperature down within a box and then I need to kick it down even further utilizing an aqua tuner. Really my only two options are I either build a steam box cooling or we use an aqua tuner box cooling which would be slightly smaller. In principle. Which would be the same box kind of concept here. This would all have to be vacuumed out though. The entire thing would need to be made out of gold. Like so. So strip there, strip there, and then I just fall my way back on each side. And then... I would need... Aqua Tuner. Steel. Probably Cobalt Pipes. I'd like aluminum, but we don't have enough of that. Okay, let's do it. So. I would definitely need two. I need one for this side and one for this side. And then you would take the shipping lane, each of these, so the gold here would go up here, this one would go in from there, so actually I would take the gold from here straight up to this side, cobalt to this side, cobalt here, gold here. That should normalize it out. Yeah. Oh, this thing's going to be huge. I am not looking forward to it. It's going to be nice. I'm like, I can either use the steam turbine method and extract more heat out of it, or I can condense it all into one little box and extract all the heat from this. Technically, I think this one's a safer bet. Smaller and less. Well, I don't have to double stage it, but I don't know if it's, if it's too much energy. That's the question. I'm pretty sure if I ended up incorporating the copper volcano, it would probably be too much energy. For just two aqua tuners. I don't know. I think this is enough. I'm going to nine priority all of that. And let them go. Obviously, I will need to set someone to demolish. I'll have to fix them later. Pretty sure Spoon can do it. Once we get everything built, then I'll do it. Oops, you gonna come over here and start working? I guess not. Okay. 
I guess maybe it's gonna be derpy. <laughs> I'm just gonna go like, guys, hello. Like, yeah, you got some pipes to work on. A lot of things that need micromanagement in case of an emergency. Food, obviously. But, uh... I guess they're just gonna sit around. At least they're going to the bath. <laughs> I'll count it up as... They're at least taking care of themselves. Uh... I feel like I just get distracted when I'm watching my dudes. Oh, there we go. <laughs> just sitting there staring at them like anytime duplicates anytime <laughs> uh. I am very happy that it's looking up what's off obviously we are wasting a ton of CO2 uh, that's fine. Still producing more than we're actually consuming. <laughs> Even with all the, uh, flexors running around. Uh. Nope. Yeah, you got wounded again. And Sango wounded again. He's dead? Nope. Nope. I got no idea. My best guess would be bees or the teleporting oak shells again. Sand has been running the rock cutcher a lot, so. He gets injured from that from time to time. Oh, what's our pressure's at? 1530. It is going there. Big question. I'm going to attach it there. You know what? I'm gonna touch it there. For the time being. I need to put this for... Run it at night. Into morning. Light up. If it is above, below, one, twenty. Which will allow us to totally start venting this place a little bit more. Because the temperature will actually rise as I lower the amount of pressure because the uh, amount of energy that's actually being input into the room is not enough to compensate for the sheer mass of water that keeps getting dumped into it. Oh, I should say fluid water and salt water. So I need to lower the amount of pressure to increase temperature enough, because it should be the other way around, but eh, actually not good at the opposite for that. Just that way, it, I'm pretty sure it's a coating thing where in Unity it would just explode. <laughs> Ooh, small charts. Uh, I'll take the lime though, much more important. Better version. Not happening, Travaldo. Not happening. No call as well. Alright, Mima. Come back with something that's not terrible. Give it a lime, though. Oh, they did a corner. <laughs> they did two corners. Uh, I'll, get, I'll give the dudes, the dupes some credit. Just a little bit. That's perfectly fine. I will right, we'll need to actually add a central cooling unit here soon for the entire base. Mostly because we'll be utilizing sulfur here shortly, which, well, I shouldn't say shortly, but eventually you will be utilizing sulfur. And I need to maintain, yeah, 15 to 50. 
I'll be probably keeping the base temperatures around 22 and that also means I gotta be careful about the sheer amount of energy that this stupid thing produces. Uh, never joke about liquid sulfur geysers. These things are ridiculous. <laughs> Uh, how much energy can that put out? A lot. It also has, like, no cooldown period. So it will just constantly pump out more materials, which is extremely useful, but also insanely hot. They're like copper volcanoes, but worse. <laughs> they don't cook everything. They just put your base at, like, around 150 degrees the entire time. This thing just pumps out like 2,000 degrees. Expect everything around it to get cooked if you're not careful and you don't properly insulate it with a double wall. And they're just tedious and annoying to work with. Over on the other hand, extremely important to work with. Pretty much an in-game solution to a lot of food problems and other things. Um, mostly because you can't actually tame them until you get solid management. Because of how sulfur functions. <laughs> The conveyor rail thermal sensor is a must, as well as the solid filters. So you're kind of screwed until you can get your hands on that. At least for taming them, anyway. Oh, they got suits. They got everything. They're just being slow. Probably just purge most of the polluted oxygen around the base. It is here, game. Spray me some filtration medium. Oh, 
There we go. That's fine. Come on, Frey. Come on. done last. Oops, please come fill these. Let me clean this up. We've got a blob of crap that must be removed. <laughs> Probably just add the carbon skimmer that we originally had in here. Not to worry about it. Oh, uh, let's add bridge. Stay there. Okay, good. I do feel a little bad for my machines. <laughs> may or may not be overtaxing them considerably. I'm okay with that. I'll get more clay out of it anyway. That big the deal.
Waiting on them to build the pipes. One more pipe. Oh my God. Boone, anybody, over here and freaking build this thing. Oh no, thank you. Good. What I want to say, done. Ugh. Yeah, we are horribly taxing our system. I'll definitely have to send over a lot more sand before we can really fully utilize it. Eventually this will just get completely cleaned out. There'll be a little bit of dirt here, but that'll be about it. The cooling box needs to be built, but it is actually pretty good. Ugh, all the planning and everything else. I will get to this soon. I just need to make sure that all this is running and we're getting all the gold we can because I need to literally plate the entire planet in gold. Uh, then bring, well, I need to cool it down and send it all back. All of this cabling all of this needs to be this color gold. Technically, some tungsten. I have any regular gold over here, I don't think. No, copper. Yeah, every single thing that you see in here needs to be converted to gold. And I don't need to worry about all this red. They dramatically cut down by the suits, and yeah. everything is well within gold's temperatures, so I don't have to care about it too much. There won't be any melting like anywhere. I think I'll have to keep uh, the machines inside the industrial brick of steel and everything inside the CO2 brick and uh, steel as well. Besides that, yeah, everything else will be set up perfectly at that point. Then I can actually repurpose some of the excess like tungsten and other materials over here to help deal with this problem. Uh, it's kind of going down the checklist. We're getting there. Taking a while. I also need to start looking into picking up super coolant. Really, really good. I know it's idle, I don't want to touch it yet. We have to vent the entire thing, remove everything, switch this for petroleum, switch that for petroleum, probably add another liquid lock just in case. There's a high likelihood of it exploding. And then I need to pump in about... Yay, much amount of water. <laughs> 39 tiles. And then I won't need to worry about power from any of that for a while. Because we could just run on the geothermal after that. Really the only issue with that, though, is producing enough uh, igneous rock for what we need. Because I'm probably going to have to use... Talon's igneous rock production to build the map for the water world. Because normally this planet does not have that much material, but building a base requires you shipping in just igneous rock and lots of it. Igneous gold, cobalt, iron, steel, tungsten. It works. That's pretty much like right on the mark. We're so close. So close to the safe levels. Soon, nuclear power. Soon. Uh, 16 degrees, good. Going up. But I'm gonna see. Probably have to force the issue on this one on Wednesday night. 
Tomorrow we'll be doing Khmer Land, Genshin, Khmer Land. And then Wednesday we'll be doing Throw of Genshin or That'll be episode 70, or 75. 7 o'clock in the morning. 75. <laughs> I already had that one. That was actually a lot of work on that one. Uh, how's the temperature? I'll have to switch over to an actual cooling box here soon. I need to probably rush this in the next couple episodes. Well, maybe an episode or two. It won't actually take that long. It's just purely determined on how much gold I can produce. And how fast I can get the troops to actually build it. Alright. Yeah. Looking really good. I think we're done for today, though. Let me drop a save. Currently 7.02 a.m. We have hit cycle 1,255. Pretty good. We've mostly tamed the other gold volcano. I gotta clean up the gases in it. But once that is done, then I don't need to touch it. Ugh. Oh. Save here. Yep, we're good. But yeah, I am very happy with the progress tonight. I'm glad that I decided to do action night for the... Oh. I just flipped the coin and was like, I want to do both of them equally. Screw it. <laughs> Camel box should not included. Camel heads. I'm okay with that. Oh, feels good. Really, really good. A lot of progress, too. That game. Oh, pretty much ends. 74.